All right, it's time to look at pitch detection in Max MSP. I'm going to fire up my patch, which will show the different ways of tracking pitch. There are a couple of ways that are already built into Max. You have F0 and Retune. Fiddle and Sigmund are very, very popular externals from the early days of Max and are still used in Pure Data, the sister language of Max. Moving on to the Mubu package from Earcam, you have peepo.slice and peepo.sci. This uses two different ways to analyze and slice incoming audio via uh, the Yin algorithm implementation for monophonic pitch detection. Uh, with Psi, it uses pitch synchronous Yin markers for pitch synchronous overlap and add or SOLA method of monophonic pitch detection. Finally, from the zsa.descriptors package, there's zsa.easyfreakpeak, which extracts a pair of frequency amplitude peaks by FFT frame. So let's take a look at these and see what the result is in the purple box. If I turn the patch on, I have a bassoon playing A3. Pretty much everybody is detecting that this is coming through at A3 or roughly 220 Hz. Except for peepo.slice.yen, uh, which is kind of exporting at 440 hertz. If I take a look at the cello at F2, I'm getting some very, very different values. Let me loop that and you can see those. Around 87.5, 92 to 117, 174, somewhere between 87 and 173, 172, 87 and up, and somewhere between 87 and that 170. This is because that cello has a lot of vibrato. Obviously that's going to be an issue. Let's try the trumpet at A3. Here, everybody is correctly getting this as around 220 hertz. We see that in F0, in Retune, in Fiddle, in Sigmund, in both the size uh, from Peepo and in ZSA. Everything is more or less uh, equal on that one. However, if we try other things that have, again, vibrato, Notice how in uh, peepo slice.yin, we're getting a lot of ranges of values that they're kind of all over the place. It will jump up to 440 and pick out some of the overtones. It will jump down uh, below into 94 hertz. It's not exactly the best for the violin since it can definitely not play 94 hertz. Let's try the vibraphone as well. This is A1, so we should be getting around 110 hertz from everybody. Let's loop it. Again, Every single algorithm is mostly good, but we're getting a little bit of the overtones coming through here in zsa.freakpeak. In fact, I'm not seeing the fundamental at all in there. So what does this mean? Well, it means there's a lot of different ways that you can do it, and each is going to have 
their benefits, and their drawbacks. As you're just getting started in Max, I really, really recommend just using either F0 or Retune, especially if you're working with a performer that has a lot of vibrato or if you're playing in a hall that's going to have a lot of reverb. Reverb in particular can be the death of frequency tracking. Also, if you're working with voices, you would be surprised at how much some pitches can go up and down. Kill all humans. Kill all humans. So that relative monotone is staying around 116 to about 132 hertz for the most part. Kill. But we get some overtones. We get some other things coming through. All humans. Kill all humans. Kill all humans. Interesting, but speech might not be the best. You might want to go with something like singing voices instead. Again, this is just an introduction and comparison. There are so many different options, as you can see. There are minimum frequencies to detect, maximum frequencies, thresholds, periods for the analysis, size of the samples, all sorts of things like that. I recommend that you try each of these individually. Take a look at the help files and really get to know what the options are before deciding which one is going to be the best to use for your pitch detection. As you can see, they are going to have multiple tabs, multiple tips, and there's quite a bit that's been written online about them as well.